Hi, I'm Jessica Flaherty, and I'm going to talk about inclusive professional learning communities, or PLCs. I want to start by building up our understanding of just how big and interconnected a PLC can and should be. And then I'm going to talk about one very important unit in the PLC of Washington educators, Hidden River Middle School. Professional learning community is best defined as an ongoing process in which educators work collaboratively in reoccurring cycles of collective inquiry and action and action research to achieve better results for the students they serve. PLCs are often thought to be an individual school or education team, right? Something kind of small, um, but they are actually comprised of a much broader social network than that. PLCs are purposed to make a profound impact on school structure and culture through continued action. A task that large requires a large effort, one put forth by school districts, small collaborative school teams, individual schools, administrators, individual educators, uh, and even educational legislatures. Educators within a PLC share in a culture of collaboration and collective responsibility for the students, all of the students, while working to ensure that all learners access the same curriculum. So I want you to think about all of the factors that affect education, many, right? We want our PLCs to hold representation in all of those spaces. It's not just the teacher's job. It's not just the principal's responsibility. This is a large collective effort. PLCs are an opportunity for educators to share in a collective body of knowledge, experience, and expertise. They create spaces that foster a dialogue of inclusion, respect, openness, human differences, spaces where individual voices are heard and shared visions are found. Avenues and networks for problem solving emerge and professional networks expand. I hope that y'all would all agree that this collaborative ap approach is beautiful, right? Beautiful and full of effort. Building a collaborative culture is a deliberate effort, but through a large collaborative PLC, it can be achieved. These professional learning communities are a call to action. When leveraged correctly, PLCs can be an excellent resource for growth and development and can create a more equitable and inclusive school. Building a collaborative culture is a deliberate effort that is drastically aided by, the, by an inclusive PLC. Engagement in these PLCs helps schools and districts establish a universal understanding of their purpose and their priorities. This allows them to align their systems, policies, structures, and allocation of funds in a way that addresses their priorities and monitors progress. One of the key priorities of a PLC are professional development practices that increase teachers' access to current research, experiences, and preparedness. Not only does this aid in improved inclusionary practice use, but it also allows a space for educators to engage in critical reflection about their own dispositions and views of students' competencies. This work helps us address our own bias as a barrier to student learning. So these PLCs are, are really a powerful tool to address the current gap between research and implementation of high leverage inclusionary practices. In the beginning of their active journey towards a more inclusive school, Hidden River started by creating a strong professional learning culture. They started their learning with the book Learning by Doing. They used their learning collaborative space to create a document of shared commitments, which stated a determination to meet student needs through unsurpassed collaboration. I love that. I think the term unsurpassed collaboration is just an incredible goal to have. So a staff member explained that no one is big enough to work independently of others. Combined wisdom of one's peers is greater than any individual. Their foundational approach led them to create teams of teachers who work in the same subject area. In order for these small teams to play their part, administration had to help make it possible through a master schedule. The principal and assistant principal value and protect this collaborative time and space for the teachers. 
In these groups, the teachers guide their collaboration with a series of questions. One, what is it that we want our students to know and be able to do? Two, how will we know if they've learned it? Three, how will we respond when they haven't learned it? And four, how will we respond if they already know it? They strongly believe that the only way to address these questions is as a team. One person cannot meet the diverse needs of all of the students in the classroom. So they've created systems and structures that do not expect one person to meet the diverse needs of all of the students in the classroom, rather one that expects all educators to meet the needs of all of the students. By partnering with the Hearing Center on this project, Hidden River is helping to strengthen the professional learning community of Washington educators by making new social and professional connections, connections with people like you. As you sit and watch this video, you've helped add a link to our social network and you've taken another step deeper into your learning community. I know that it's often difficult to figure out where to start with anything really, much less where to start with your lifelong journey towards inclusion and cultural responsiveness. But the good news is that just by watching this video, you've already started. You started to learn about a team in your professional learning community. And now I'm gonna show you how to access more information from them, along with other model demonstration sites that are doing some really transformative work right now. Um, but what's so important about the work that they're doing is their effort to show it and share it and collaborate with everyone else around them. So here are additional resources to learn more about inclusive PLCs. And here's the link to our website where you can learn more about and even connect with Hidden River and the other demonstration sites. I think that's it's a really big thing here. I want you to know um, that you, you don't just have to learn from them from watching their webinars, but you can, and we encourage you to connect with them, send emails, make calls, make connections. Um, that's how we learn the best. So thank you, thank you, thank you for spending your time in this way. I can't begin to explain how much I appreciate the work that you all are doing right now. I know that it's not always easy, and I know that it's not easy right now, but it's so, so, so important that we continue to engage in this thinking and engage in this conversation and engage in this work. So thanks for doing that with me.